fungi found on the Chernobyl site may end up being protective of astronauts from radiation and could be the next big thing in fire remediation of nuclear waste. Just in case you're not familiar, Chernobyl was the site of the largest nuclear fallout that we've ever had. It's still not suitable for human settlements and may never be, at least not as long as humans are around. However, it is a flourishing site for wild animals for some reason. And before you ask, I don't know of any way to get into the program to adopt a radioactive puppy. Back to the fungus. They found something called Cryptococcus neoformans, and it turns out that it powers its own metabolic processes using radiation. They're also chock full of melanin. Yep, the same thing that's in our skin. Well, maybe not my skin. Now, this may sound silly and maybe something we should have already thought about, but they could potentially line the walls of spaceships with the compound that is melanin. In case you weren't aware, astronauts suffer from higher levels of cancer because they're exposed to radiation there out in space. They don't have the atmosphere that protects us here. As for whether or not they reduce the levels of radioactivity by using it as a driver for their metabolic processes, we're on the fence about. It would turn out that we use a geobacter species of bacteria to handle radioactive waste, but it doesn't get rid of it, it solidifies. It's just as radioactive as it always was, except now it's a lot less likely to seep into the groundwater. Tune in next time and I'll tell you about some of the islands that we tested nuclear bombs on. People still live there and we didn't do a very good job of cleaning it up.